How's it going, everybody? Kevin Gleason, Team Latitude 64, Team Under Par Apparel, and I am at the Crossing Disc Golf Course here in Kernersville, North Carolina. I'm here. I'm here to warm up for the Patriot Memorial. Looks like night. No, blue course, 18 holes, white course, 19 holes. I believe we're playing 18, but I'm not sure. Looks like we're mixing a couple pads up. Looks like there's some red or blue pads, so long or short. And, uh, yeah. First off, this is at a church. No playing here on Sundays before 1 o'clock, I believe, is the rules. No alcohol. No drugs allowed on these premises. There it is right there on the, on the trash can. So, yeah. So this is my practice round before the Patriot Memorial. I was signed up for MP40, but everybody dropped out MP40, so I'll be playing MPO this weekend. I've, uh, the tournament between here, the crossing, and Patriot Park, which I've played Patriot numerous times. Uh, one of those courses, some of the holes from the longer pads are a little bit outside my distance, so I'll struggle with the guys that throw 400, 450 feet. They'll have a much better advantage on some of the holes than I do. But, uh, you know, let's uh, see how this course treats us. This is blue. Are there baskets back there? Let's do this. Looks like a drop-off behind it. And, uh, again... I'm not warmed up, so let's see how I do. This one go, goal line ballista pro. Definitely need to throw that a little wider. That's the right disc. Hit metal. Okay, it looks like. I was reading the caddy guy. I think they messed up with the reds. It's actually whites out here. But uh, it looks like 2, 9, and 18 for the tournament. We play from the shorter pads, which is right here. And uh, 18, we play to the basket on the right, it says. So. So this is down there somewhere. Let me go check it out. I'll be back. I think I'm going to throw. I'm going to throw Capstone, Warship, a little bit beat up Warship, and my Ruby. Just to see. Because it's a little downhill. I think I can actually... If I can pop the ruby through that gap right there, I think I can get it to go right pretty well. Yeah, just like that. I don't, I'm going to throw the warship for distance, but the ruby's a shot. Both those are great. Warship caught a tree right here, which is fine. This is one of those holes. Just get past this stuff. Uh, you get a two on this hole, you are doing something spectacular. Um, there's OB, but it's that string way over there, kind of by that orange fence. So there's my Ruby. Ruby got full flight. So I'm, I'm happy with the Ruby flight. Hole three, blue, 266. Right up there, tucked in over there. I guess we're going to the A pin. Car four. <coughs> The creek is casual, it said. So I believe I either want to, I'm going to try to go for it with a hatchet, but I'm also just going to throw, I'm going to throw my warship and I'm going to throw my pier down the middle. So start off with a warship because it's in my hand. I'm just trying to land kind of by that big donker tree that's right in the middle. That should be fine, I think. I don't know the hole, but I mean, that's where I kind of where I was aiming. Okay, I believe I'm a hole four crossing. Kevin's pro tip of the day. You have a long, not a long, long par four, 606 feet. You're bigger throwers. It's downhill. They can get to it. 
but it's real thick on the edges this time of year. So there's a short basket. So my pro tip of the day, throw something very controllable. Just get in the middle. Looks like it's downhill over here. And then throw something. If you go in the woods like my other two drives did, you won't, won't have a line. So, so look, here's a shorter pad. 316 feet from here. So creeks not in, out of bounds. So I'm just gonna throw something down there. So as long as I'm in the middle, I can get a shot. You don't want to have to pitch out and then throw 300 feet. So beautiful course out here at this church. Um, oh, that's the short path. Long's back here. It was a beautiful, beautiful course out here. I know my buddy Mitch Dickens had a hand in putting this thing together. And uh, I'm not sure who else. I'm sure some people from the church. So again, remember this is church property. Can't be here before one o'clock on Sundays. No drinking. Wouldn't want to lose a beautiful place like this because some dummy comes out here and decides to drink and party. So. Hole five. 247 feet. It was up to the right. Um, probably gonna be my ruby. If I could pot, there's a lot of room up top. Ruby, put it up high. It just keeps gliding. So you see the basket over there. Let me move this over here a little bit. The basket's back there in the corner. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Maybe it's back there somewhere. Right in there somewhere. Look at the ruby. Stone, I put it more straight, turn wide late. The ruby, I tried to run right at it. The ruby hit a tree. So if I can run straighter with the Kev stone and fall right, that's going to be the shot on this hole if I can get a putt. Just like I wanted to. I think it's part, could be short, so let me go to Warship to judge the distance. Warm up rounds for me are judging distance. I don't want to have a bunch of 35, 30, 25, 40 foot putts. I want to make sure I know that the disc I'm throwing makes it to the basket. And it drops off behind it tad bit. Guys, my chameleon pier is even long. Oh, no, it's not. No, many piers part. Five foot left. I figured it'd be five foot short. Warships, both of them. Ace runs. I'd rather have the chameleon pier. So, with me only playing this course, I believe one time. Don't believe I'm gonna need an ace with a warship on this hole. I'd rather just throw this one. I love them, man. I'd rather just have a drop in two. I love hitting putts, but man, drop in twos are great. Hole eight, two more holes for the front nine people. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe to this. We're going blue 319, looks tight, wooded. Straight shot of a beauty, I already know. 
I'm gonna be going hatchet. Um, it was a little wide. So I'm only played eight holes or so. Get a putt on every hole. Somebody come out here and light up a 11, 12 down. You know, that's out here. You know, you have to be hitting little 25 footers like this and hitting your lines. But, you know, I think, uh, you know, after playing eight holes, the rest of the course is like this. I'm going to say, I think I want to get half of them. You know, four or five per nine. Double digits is going to be great. So we found the one we're looking for for the front nine, folks. Kevin Gleason, Team Latitude 64, Team Under Par Apparel. Team, something else coming up. Finishing off hole nine, 311 feet. I believe I'm going to film the back nine. I might not. Might just do the front. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'm at like 560 followers. I don't do much on YouTube. I got a lot of following on TikTok. You know, give me, give me to a thousand. I'd like to see what that does. So I need 400 and some people. But uh, again, 311 feet downhill. It's either going to be a flex shot with like a Rive or a Ballista Pro or a Warship. So I'm going to try the Warship since it's in my hand. Wait a minute, nine short pad. <laughs> so Kevin Gleason not done. It's a, it's a good 60 feet shorter. So yeah, one, nine and something else off the look. But. So not over, let me uh, throw the short pad. Much different shot. Uh, my warships are up there. Probably the warship. I'll play my pier. I can always come back out here and play this one. Oh. It was wet. It slipped out of my hand. So I really okay. I got one more Ballista Pro. Um, it's gonna be the warship from back here. I'll make sure to practice it tomorrow before. Worked out too. So Kevin Gleason, Team Lab 264, Team Under Par Apparel. Team something else coming up. We've already been approved from the team. Just waiting on approval from Latitude. Peace, guys.